other things. Blake, did I tell you we got cigar aficionado? Yeah, we spent a whole segment on it yesterday. Oh, okay. You don't remember that? Yeah, 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 I do now. <laughs> we now have cigar aficionado in the show. Somebody, I, I mean, uh, in the shop. Yeah. Y'all lifestyle shop. I think Chris sent us in that. In the show. Chris sent us that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger cover picture, remember? We talked about some of the best. And that got us into the James Bond discussion with Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan, James Craig, all those good guys. Oh, that's 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 who's on the cover. I just text you his number. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So we should be rolling. Out of bounds, ESPN 1059 the zone, presented by Dancing Rabbit Golf Club, the Azaleas in the Oaks. Welcome in. Big weekend this weekend. We get major league baseball. Your Braves, Cubs, Yankees. They will be playing. My Brewers, we are excited. And we're super excited about our next guest, who uh, he had a heck of a career at Mississippi State. I mean, he was that guy that they could count on uh, year after year on the offensive line, played multiple positions in the toughest league in the conference, and, uh, and then is drafted by the Green Bay Packers and man had a monster, monster rookie year and went to the playoffs. And uh, people are really excited about his success and his future. And we welcome in Elton Jenkins with the Green Bay Packers on the Miller Lite guest line. Elton, good morning. How you doing, bud? Good morning. How you doing? Man, we're doing great. We're doing great. So when do you report to uh, Green Bay? Um, right now, the on set days we report Monday, this upcoming Monday, and we um start doing you know COVID nineteen testing and doing all those things, those protocols set by the NFL. Are you are you excited to get back? Oh yeah, I'm ready to be around the guys. You know, uh, start back up. You know, um, start playing football at least, preparing to play football. Yeah, no, it's exciting that that you guys are are reporting around the uh around the country. So so describe what what's it like as an NFL player t- to be in you know Green Bay's a smaller market but it's a huge big brand in the NFL. Um what's it like to live and play in Green Bay during the season? Yeah, it's like it's a dream come true. You know, you all as a child you always want it to make it to the NFL and then being in Green Bay where the history is so rich and so, um, you know, so strong. So everybody, you know, love the, love the Green Bay Packers. So being around that city and the excitement that the fans um, come with, it's a dream come true. Elton Jenkins, Green Bay Packers, Hale State offensive lineman on the Miller Lite guest line. You're listening to ESPN 105.9 The Zone. Uh, is it the coldest place you've ever been? No, oh, most definitely. <laughs> top, yeah, top one, most definitely. Coldest place I ever been played too. Man, didn't y'all play a game? Y'all played a playoff game in Green Bay before going to San Francisco. Is that right? Yeah, we played the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we played the Seattle Seahawks. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it gets. Uh... It gets serious up there as far as temperatures in December and January, doesn't it? Yeah, it get it get real cold. Even in like um even in like October and November. Uh-huh. My first um my first snowing game, we was playing Carolina Panthers and then come we come out halftime and it started like it started pouring down snowing. And, you know, people were like, you know, welcome to Green Bay. This is what you get, you know, this is what you 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 can play in, you never know. So yeah, it just started pouring down snowing. Woo. Yeah, a little bit different than playing in Starble. Oh, yeah, way <laughs> <different>. <laughs> Elton Jenkins, offensive lineman for the Green Bay Packers and had a super career at Mississippi State, joins us on the Miller Light guest line. How many, how many positions did you play on the line at Mississippi State, Elton? Um, I played four. My freshman year, I played left tackle and right tackle. My sophomore year, um, I had played. I played left guard, and then my junior and senior year, I finished up at center. That's incredible. Why do you think you were able to to handle that, and you were so versatile and had the ability to play up and down the line? 
I feel like the main reason was, um, you know, just just learning football, learning the um, just learning the answers out, the in and outs of defenses and what they want to do, and then um, just having control. I feel like as an old lineman, the main thing is having control of your feet, because when I first got when I first got to college, um, I can I I look back at that film and I'll I'll take false steps and you know not knowing which way I guess not knowing which way to go and stuff like that, but. When you when you have control of your feet and then your IQ level is up there, I feel like you can play any position. Elton Jenkins on the Out of Bounds Show, great year with the Green Bay Packers, year one as as a rookie, and uh, as he mentioned, played all up and down the offensive line for some really good teams at Mississippi State. He went to a bowl game every year. He was at uh, he was at MSU with some with some really big wins over LSU and Auburn and A and M and Ole Miss and so on. Uh, he didn't give up a sack this past year. Uh, last time I checked, that's extremely difficult in the NFL. So, when you were going into the draft, El, did what did you think? I mean, were, were you hearing a lot from the Green Bay Packers? How many teams were you hearing from? Did you go, were you drafted where you thought you were? How did that all play out, you know, a month or so going into the NFL draft? Yeah, actually, I haven't like I didn't hear anything from the Green Bay Packers. Like no meetings, no no visits or anything. Um, and, and first, I thought I was gonna go in the first round. You know, that, that was the grade they had on me. But you know, I dropped to the second round to Green. I mean, yeah, to Green Bay. So I feel like it was a blessing, um, blessing from God for me to end up in the position I am and to block for the um, block and play for the people that I play beside and for with. with. That's cool. Second round pick. I mean, 44th pick in the NFL draft by a historic franchise that's won several Super Bowls. And in his first year, he goes to the NFC Championship game. He is Elton Jenkins, who had a phenomenal year as a rookie with the Green Bay Packers. He joins us on the Miller Lite guest line, and you're listening to ESPN 105.9 The Zone. Blake, you got a question for Elton Jenkins? Yeah, Elton, right. Blake Scott here. My question is somewhat, I guess, cliche, but you played in the best conference in the country in college football in the SEC, so you went up against elite talent, and now you're in the NFL, obviously elite talent. Uh, who are some of the guys that stand out to you, both from when you were at Mississippi State and then now in your first year in the NFL, that when you when they line up across from you, you know it's going to be a long day at work to try to keep this guy away from Aaron Rodgers or Nick Fitzgerald or whoever you're protecting for. Um, well, you know, in college we had Jeffrey Simmons, we had Montez Sweat, Gary Braxton, all those guys. So practicing against those guys was like um, a game day every day. So, and in the NFL, you know, we going against guys like um, Darius Smith, Preston, Kenny Clark. And Dean Lowry, all those guys. I mean, going against those guys every day. Wow. I feel like we have one. On, I feel like in the Packers and at Mississippi State, we ha we got one of the best defenses, well, defensive line. So just going against those guys every day was um, it's challenging, and it made it made game day way much easier. That's a great point. I mean, that's some studs right there in practice. Jeffrey Simmons, Braxton Hoyette, Montez yeah. Sweat. I mean, the list goes on and on. You guys getting after it, getting ready for uh, for game day. By the way, uh, Elton's Green Bay Packers play uh, Jeffrey Simmons December 27th in Green Bay. We may have a little snow for that mm -hmm. game a couple of days after uh, Christmas. That'll be two Mississippi State dudes um, getting after it. So that'll be fun. We'll have to put that on the calendar. So... Oh, and by the way, Elton Jenkins from the Mississippi Delta to Mississippi State, and now with the Green Bay Packers. Now, you were you were not highly recruited, were you, Elton? No, I was. So, how, all right, you, you got the offer from from Dan Mullen and John Hevesy and maybe whoever was the lead recruiter. I don't know if it was Tony Hughes or someone else over in the in the Mississippi Delta. How was that the only Power Five offer you had? I had offers like La Tech and um, La Tech. And La Tech probably was my second biggest offer. I came up here to Mississippi State the weekend before signing day and, um, you know, did like 
they had a visit for for the weekend, and then they, their upcoming Sunday, Coach Mullen them gave me the offer, and I committed right there. And I was ready to come in and show. I told him that I'm coming and um, you know, show him what I can do and you know work hard, and that's, that's what I came in to do. Did it? Did your career exceed your expectations? In other words, you know, you weren't highly recruited, but I'm sure you thought you were a good player. But I mean, you had a an incredible career. I mean, the athletic names you an All American in your in your last uh, season, and you started forever, uh, dozens of games at Mississippi State. Did it? Did your career at MSU exceed your expectations? I won't say exceed my expectations. Like when I first came in, and we had our first count. Um, I was going against like some of the veteran guys, and I was locking them down. And like, and my and my coach, coach, coach Hipsy and um, Mullen, and all those, they were telling me that I can be a special player and things like that. So I feel like coming in, I I, I showed them what I can do. It, it was just all about just putting it together, like learning more about football, getting stronger, and and things like that. So I feel like I knew that I I feel like coming in, I knew that. I was able to do to do that. It was just a matter of time of me putting everything together. This is an incredible stat right here. Elton started 34 times at Mississippi State and played in 49 career games. Here's the breakdown according to the Green Bay site. 26 games at center, five games at left tackle, two at left guard, one at right tackle. Um I don't know if that's exactly right, but uh, that's still impressive. Elton Jenkins, Green Bay Packers, on the Out of Bounds show, ESPN 105.9, The Zone. So what? Uh, take me there. What? Where were you when you got drafted, and what was it like when the phone rang and, and, uh, and you talked to maybe the GM of the Packers or the head coach? What, walk us through that. Yeah, um, I was at home. I was at home with my family. And like I say, the first I thought I was gonna go first round, so you know me um, anticipating that, and then that didn't happen. And then the second day started, and, you know I was the forty-four pick, so we had a probably with like eleven picks before me or something like that. And um, you know I was kind of getting down at first, you know, um, like you know people sleeping on me, you know I had stuff to prove. And then so I went outside, I was chilling with my family, then my phone ring, and so. I answered the phone. They were like, it's the Green Bay Packers. And after that, I just, I really just, I had just got so emotional. I just couldn't stop, like, you know, crying and stuff like that, you know, because all my life, this is what I wanted, you know, my name to get called. And, um, you know, it finally happened. Dream so, come true. I, yeah, yeah, dream come true. Just like I told, um, told Mullen, you know, when I first came in, you know, I told those coaches, I'm going to come in, I'm going to work, and I'm going to do my job. So, Man, it was it was a dream come true. It it was just like it was very emotional. I bet. Boy, Hevesy was uh he was tough as you know what as a coach, but also a a super offensive line coach, wasn't he? Yeah, he was real good. Um the thing about Coach Hevesy is he, he wanted to to succeed and um in all parts like all parts of life. Like so when you on the field, he gonna push you on the field and then he also gonna push you like doing, you know, with your grades and stuff in school, and then like just just anything you do, he gonna make he gonna make sure he stay on you. So, and um, make sure you go down the right path. That's awesome, Elton Jenkins. Dream come true. Playing in the NFL had a uh, phenomenal rookie season with the Green Bay Packers, second round pick, and uh, they had a heck of a year last year. Again, Green Bay and the Tennessee Titans play December twenty seventh. So Elton will. Uh, will go against his friend and uh, former teammate Jeffrey Simmons. Now, do you uh, – let's see. There were, what, three guys? Let's see, three guys that went in the first round on the defensive side of the football. Simmons, Sweat, and Abram? Is that right? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so do you keep up with those guys? Oh, yeah. We talk We talk all the time. We, um, we have room messages. We link up. We probably this whole we probably linked up numerous times, like more than ten times this um off season. Um you know, we talk our whole class, we just we just talk, you know, we, we make sure everybody good, make sure everybody head on straight and things like that. Um, that's cool. 
That's cool. Elton Jenkins has also gone against uh, some other guys by the name of Fletcher Cox and Chris yeah, Jones. Right. Woo. That's some, that's some dudes. Yeah, Mississippi, State, Mississippi State, you know, we got a whole D-line in it. We got a D-line and a backup in the NFL. You know, we got – and we got – and all those guys are star guys on their team. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, going against those guys and, and playing from the same – I mean, playing at the same school, you know, it's all love. Look, that's three of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. Fletcher Cox, Chris Jones, Jeffrey Simmons, two of the three have a Super Bowl ring. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. All right, let's talk uh, Let's talk a little food at Two Brothers. Do you, um, mm-hmm. Anything jump out at you on the Two Brothers menu in Starkville? Um, they, they have so much food. They got... Um... It's a, it's a lot of food that they have that they're just so good. You feel me? So yeah. I probably sausages is one of the um, things that I like like more than anything. Love it. Love it. Wings, tacos, yeah. pulled barbecue. pork, barbecue. It's all good at Two Brothers Smoked Meats. And uh, Elton and Jeffrey Simmons and Sweat and Abram know all about that. Um, they know where the good food is. And, of course, our mutual friend, Chef Craig, is uh man that guy is one of the best chefs i mean does that guy cook amazing food or what elton man <laughs> craig is a he, he's a phenomenal chef. he got yesterday the other day we had the wagyu steak uh. and, oh yeah and I, I had to go home early because i had the items you know i was ready to go to sleep and <laughs> my eyes my eyes want to stay open so i said yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave craig but um, Craig, he cooks a lot of food, and and you know when Craig cooks the food, the food gonna be good. You know it's gonna be like a five star meal. You you eating every time. So shout out to Craig Fant for the food. No doubt. And a couple of weeks ago, Elton and I were at his house. He cooked Mexican, and my gosh, the enchiladas and the quesadillas and everything were amazing. And uh, Elton just went mentioned the wagyu steak. He he cooked. Uh, elk tenderloin for us last week and it was amazing well look bud um i'm I'm super happy for you i know you're going to continue to grind and and work hard not take anything for granted uh fired up that you're heading up there uh to green bay over the weekend and hope everything goes well and uh hope you have a great season elton thank you take care bud appreciate you jumping on Elton Jenkins. Hey, hey, he made the all-rookie team, Blake. NFL. He's uh, He should have been a pro bowler. Yes, yes. So, he had a great year. Didn't give up a sack. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal season uh, for the Green Bay Packers. And started 34 games at Mississippi State. He was the, I think he was the last signee of his class. He was either a high two or a low three. And just develop. Now, this this can happen a lot of times at the offensive line position, kind of like quarterback. You know, that's tough, 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 tough to evaluate. And so you see guys off the grid become, you know, amazing players. And Elton was one of those guys that just got better and better and stronger and yeah, and just became a, a dominant offensive lineman in the SEC. It's part of why, like, Wisconsin always runs for so many yards because they just put them in this breeding factory and let right. them marinate for two years before they bring them in as redshirt juniors who are 500 pounds and run four, you know, five two forties. They're just monsters at that point. Elton was willing to put in the work. Yeah. Well, you said, I mean, he said that when he showed up to campus, told Dan, I'm here to work. Let's yeah. Go. Work ethic and develop and just got better and better and eventually became a dominating center. At the yeah. end of his career, for for him, I mean, do you know how many times he plowed somebody for Nick Fitzgerald or yeah. Colin Hill yeah. or Ares Williams, Blake? Those guys, if you take those their numbers and combine them, it's some big time rushing yards. And he blew open hole after hole on yeah. the offensive line for Fitz, who had some amazing, remarkable runs and games. Ares Williams was incredible his junior year, yep. and really turned it on his sophomore year. And then Colin's been good since day one. Speaking of which, Colin Hill named an Athlon Sports All-American today. Right. Just came out. Good for him. So there you go. Number eight. 
see what he does this year. Over under more receiving yard or well, I guess let me which one would you pick? More receiving yards or more rushing yards? I think you hit the nail on the head earlier. Uh, when Leach was hired, he could throw down about seven or eight hundred or both. <laughs> yeah, it would be an incredible season. Yeah. That'd be remarkable. I, I expect- if he gets 800, 500, in my opinion, 800 rushing, 500 receiving, sure. anything above that is you're talking about an All-American season. Yes. Yes. And he, you know this. He has the ability to take it to house it. Yeah. That one, one of the, uh, I guess, silver linings of the pandemic is recently been watching all those old games, and they're definitely both for State and Ole Miss over the last 15 to 20 years, the offensive talent. There's guys that they touch the rock. And take it to the house from anywhere on the field. Yeah, he he could have a really really special year with KJ. In fact, I I expect them to have a a really good year anyway with KJ Costello and Leach and that offensive staff will make him better, no doubt about it. Out of bounds, ESPN one hundred five nine the zone. Want to thank uh, Elton Jenkins for hanging out with us. Hey, I want to give a shout out to the Briar Patch. Super super cool restaurant and bar they're now open thursday friday and saturday the briar patch in livingston it's right beside uh livingston cellars a super cool wine and spirit store but uh brian and the team at the briar patch sling uh great craft drinks he's got a super beer collection he's got amazing food kind of different deal every day you never know what you're going to get uh, his charcuterie board is absolutely amazing at the Briar Patch in Livingston. And then you got Livingston Cellars Wine and Spirits. Also, the show is brought to you by Madison Ridgeland Academy. If you're on the fence about your child's future, right now is the time to call this number. 601-856-4455 and schedule a private tour of the Madison Ridgeland Academy campus and meet anybody you want academically or athletically at Madison Ridgeland Academy. Schedule a private tour today, 601-856-4455. If you missed any of the show, please hit the podcast on Podbean, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. We had our biggest day yesterday, and we thank you for hitting the podcast. And download the Out of Bounds radio app. See you.